For today's episode, we're making the Japanese rice treat onigiri. And uh, while we're on the topic, for kids TV, how stupid did you think we were? You think I'm too dumb to notice that that is not a donut? Come on. Now, onigiri is made from rice. And if that's news to you, should you really be in a kitchen? Now take two cups of white rice, which I already took the liberty of washing and soaking. And add it to a rice cooker. Now some people prefer to cook rice in a pot on the stove. Listen, if you want to, that's fine. But in my experience, every time I attempt to cook rice on the stove, the water boils over and bukkake's all over the stove top. Now let's add some water using the finger trick. Oh, and a uh, quick note on the finger trick. Now, whoever came up with the finger trick is obviously pretty short. Because if tall dudes like me were to use the finger trick, you end up with mushy overcooked rice. So if you're over six feet tall like me, here's what you do instead. Use the area between where your fingernail begins and where your first knuckle is. That's the water level you want to aim for. You follow this method and boom, rice, rice, baby. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm recycling a ton of footage in this episode. I, I'm sure on cash. Support me on Patreon, link in the description. Turn it on. And uh, let us do the thing. Now, while the rice cooks, let's take care of the rest of the onigiri fillings. Now, onigiri is wrapped in nori seaweed. And if you buy them in half width size like this, half the work is already done. So we just need to cut these in half lengthwise. Now, while I was in Japan, they had all kinds of fillings. Tuna mayonnaise, sour plum, blue sock the hedgehog Japanese curry. Okay, that last one was false. They did not have it stuffed with curry, but Blue Sonic Curry sadly existed. And that is why Sega is no longer in the console business. But today's episode, we're gonna be doing three fillings. Two are some of my favorites from Japan, and one is my original creation. First off, Bonito Flakes. It's already made, so let's go on to the next filling. The second filling, Shrimp Mayonnaise. So grab six ounces of pre-cooked shrimp and give them a nice rough chop. Now then, you want something like this. Don't completely liquefy it. You know, you want some texture. Now let's toss this into the bowl. And let's add two thirds a cup of Japanese mayo. Is this look good, by the way? I haven't used it in a while. Yeah, still good. All right, and uh, once it starts looking like potato salad, it's good. Next here, I have half a pound of raw salmon. That's right, I'm adding raw fish to onigiri. I know that's technically sushi, but you, this is my video, I do what I want. Anyway, like the trip, let's give this a nice rough chop. All right, this is a nice consistency. Now let's add two teas, let's add two and a half teaspoons of chopped chives. And one tablespoon of ponzu. Huh. The rice is still cooking. Anyway, in the meantime, off to save Planet Popstar. Okay, our rice is done cooking, but it's way too hot to handle, so let's put it on a plate. Now let's also cool this down with a fan or the receipt to some furniture I bought. Let me fold it the other way and don't want to dox myself. Uh, excuse me one second, let me get something a bit better. Okay. 
Okay, our rice has cooled down. We can finally move on to forming the onigiri. Now, some people like to do it by hand. I'm a total whatever the Japanese word for gringo is. And I'm going to be using an onigiri mold. Head to your local Asian grocery and try to find one that looks just like this. Now using a smaller rice spoon, it came with this mold. Let's scoop up some rice and plate and compress it into our mold. Next, let's bring our inner pyre and try our best to dig a little hole in the onigiri and spoon in our filling. Then let's bury it with some more rice. Compress it down, cut away the excess. All right, remove the mold. And here's where things get a little complicated. Wet your fingers. Wet your fingers with one hand and grab a piece of nori with the other. Lift this up, place it down. And boom, onigiri. As simply as that, you got yourself a nice quick Japanese snack. Oh, and side note, eat this quickly before the seaweed gets too moist. So, um, I'm uh, CRJ, making cooking fun, blah, 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 blah. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Well, I did enjoy the live action Inspector Gadget with Matthew Broderick. Maybe us 90s kids were stupid.